Hey YouTube, this is Donnie Smith and I'm doing a Q&A today. I had a question, I uh, had someone ask me about some masking products and in this video I'm going to do my best to answer that question. So I had a Subpat one, one, I probably messed that up really bad. Uh, they ask, uh, what is the name of the other roll of adhesive paper you had before using the fine line tape? So what do you call it? Adhesive paper, freeze paper, what? You did not mention the name, so I just wanted to know. So if I get both materials and try to see which one works best for me. Thank you, and I appreciate the time you took to make this video. And I really appreciate you for taking the time to watch the video and ask the questions. And this also brings my attention. You know, a lot of times I'm doing these videos, I don't think about it, and didn't realize, you know, that I did not mention that name. So that helps me, uh, you know, in the future even make better videos and and hopefully, you know, avoid leaving some of those uh, details like that out. And what they're talking about there, they're wanting to know about in this video where I was showing how to do some flames, just kind of a basic video to lay them out. I used fine line tape and then uh, went around the fine line tape with inch and a half masking paper or masking tape. And then, you know, I just used regular masking paper to fill it in. But there's another product that I just kind of showed. This is another method you can use, but it's a, it's a paper that's self-adhesive. It's got, you know, it's sticky on the back and you can lay that over the panel and you can do your artwork and then you cut that out and then you basically peel out, you know, wh where you want the, the airbrush work, paint or whatever to go. It's kind of a, just a different method. If you're someone that's really good with art and you can lay that paper out over the panel and just draw it, cut it out and peel it, that is, that'd probably be a really good uh, method for you to use. But just like anything in this business, it's going to be a preference, you know, opinions. Uh, different people going to like to do it different ways. So to answer your question, I believe the name. Uh, for this paper. You know, I could be wrong, but I believe it's transfer masking film. Uh, I know a popular a popular one out there. It's called Sticky Mickey. You know, it's an airbrusher out there that has designed this. And, you know, I know a lot of airbrushers and custom painters use that. It's a Sticky, sticky Mickey masking film or something like that. And I'll try to put a link down here in the description that kind of shows you, uh, you know, I'll have a link going to it so you can learn more about it. Um, and I'll, I'll be the first to admit, um, you know, I have done some airbrushing and messed around with custom paint, but you know, I am not, you know, an expert in that area. I mean, I know, I know the steps to take, but there are a lot of guys out there. They just blow me away. They're awesome with this. You know, they can freehand stuff. You know, I wish I had those abilities, but I don't. But anyway, I hope this helps answer your question. And uh, if any of you have questions, be sure to leave a comment. You know, sometimes it may take me a little bit to get back to it. Uh, I, I try to either get back and, uh, you know, type a comment or, you know, make a, a video like this, a Q&A video. So hope this helps. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.